Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Forsyth MRI, and this is a patient who has a normal MRI of the brain and pituitary. I want to show this to contrast a future case. So this is a profile view. We see a little round area here. This is the pituitary gland. It sits in a little cup here called the cella turcica, and we can see this gray structure is the pituitary. Below we have the sphenoid sinus. So this is a normal exam where the cella is normal in size, the pituitary tissues are normal filling the cella. Now we'll look at another patient. This is another patient I just randomly chose the next MRI brain in the list and this patient has an abnormal pituitary gland. This is a gland that's too large instead of being a small round area that fills the cella. This is too large and it goes up above into the supracellar cistern which is the area above the uh, cella and so this is part of the pituitary gland enlarged. So this is a pituitary tumor, probably a macroadenoma. Now here's another random next patient here. We can see the cella, normal in size. We see the pituitary tissues are kind of flattened a little bit. They're not a big round area that fills the cella. But this is very common as people get older. The pituitary gland will um, be pushed down by fluid in the brain, but this is within normal limits. Um, it's not enlarged, not going up into the supracellar cistern. Cella is normal in size. Here's another patient, similar to the last, this is the pituitary gland, the tissues are normal in size, kind of flattened, the cell is normal in size, so there's lots of variability in the size, but it should be contained within the gland here, I'm sorry, contained within the cell and the gland, it may be flattened, sometimes pushed along the floor as we get older. Another typical appearance here, there's the pituitary gland, there's the pituitary stalk, the infundibulum going down into the gland. Normal in size. The cell is relatively small, not very deep, more of a flat bottom. So again, lots of variability. And now uh, this patient is 25 years old. They have headaches and other nonspecific neurologic complaints. And we see that their cella, the cup that the gland sits in, is much too large, too large vertically, too large from front to back. This is the infundibulum going down, down, down into the gland. The gland is flattened like a pancake along the cellar floor. So this is definitely different than the other ones, and this is a case of elevated intracranial pressure with chronic increased pressure. There's a deficiency of the diaphragm cell. The diaphragm cell is pushed down, and the pituitary tissues, pituitary tissues are flattened along the floor just like this. And these patients can also get enlargement or distension of the optic nerve sheath. So this is an eyeball here, and off the back, we see the optic nerve coming back, and there's a little white line above and below, and that's fluid in the optic nerve sheath, a little bit distended, and the nerve is the dark area in the middle. This is a view where we can see the optic nerve, here's the right optic nerve, there's the eyeball, the lens in front, and we see that little white line surrounding that. This is again mild distension of the optic nerve sheath complexes on both sides, and this is also associated with the elevated intracranial pressure. So. We call this pseudotumor cerebri or elevated intracranial pressure. It can be associated with headaches, dizziness, blurriness, changes in vision, and a bunch of other neurologic complaints. But um, you can see how this is quite different than the other ones. Uh, and again, the pituitary gland is flattened. And that's it. Thank you so much.